what are some of the differences between what you're doing and what a you know a normal PT would be doing? Um, so we talked about this a little bit today. Uh, you were talking to uh, Dr. Goddard that was on before, yeah, and he asked yeah. if I if I put my hands on people, and you were like, "Well, doesn't every physical therapist put their hands on people?" Right. And they don't. Um, unfortunately, um, physical therapists let constraints with insurance and time and payment and all that kind of stuff kind of dictate what they do with patients. So when I see a patient, um, I'm I've, I'm hands on with them for. 20 to 30 minutes. So screen, hands-on manual therapy, rescreen, and then if we've got time, then we go in the gym and we play. So I've got a 1,200 square foot gym at my facility with turf and bumpers and squat racks That's and all fine. that kind of stuff. So we can go and actually test. So like with Rich yesterday, I don't want to just work on him and say, okay, now my, my squat feels better. I want him to go work out and do what he does to make sure that that feels good. So we do a lot of that stuff at my clinic. Um, so conventional physical therapy is still focused and very tunnel vision on where's the symptom where's the pain where's the tightness let's right. get rid of that stuff you go in there and they give you an exercise and you do it yep. and then you do the next exercise and they yep. put you on the bike and then they put some stem on you <laughs> nice. and then you go home yep. and they never really once ever put their hands right. on you or right. or they might you. put their hands on you and do uh, you know massage or um myofascial release, that kind of stuff, which is the opposite of what we're doing. So we're trying to make the muscles contract. Mm -hmm. They're trying to make the muscles relax. Right. Mm -hmm. So when I talk the, about this stuff with patients, I talk about what's called most stability, which is the combination of motion, strength, and stability. So the problem is if I just look at you as a limited motion type person, I want to give you motion. And that's where some breakdowns can occur. Because if I give you motion that you can't stabilize and you're not strong enough to get out of, now you're going to fail even worse than you did before. And I'm covering up more symptoms. So um, it was interesting. I was talking to another physical therapist uh, that I was interviewing for a job that we had open. And um, I had I sent him a bunch of videos and said, this is what we're about. If this, is, if this makes sense to you and you're in for this kind of stuff, fantastic. We'll follow up with the second interview. If you want to go down a different road and you're into the stuff that we don't do, then go ahead and go do that. So um, talked to him after he watched the videos and he said, you know, it's really interesting. This is the only thing that I've seen that's actually trying to increase muscle firing where everything else is trying to decrease muscle firing or do some kind of release. So anything that releases something is making it turn off. Mm -hmm. We're trying to turn things back on mm -hmm. so that you're strong and stable on both sides of the joint. 